does the job and it covers my dark spots so I'm pretty happy with that so if it is a light to medium coverage I feel like this is good to full coverage if you just like blend it more and if you would like layer it more that looks pretty decent my face look really like dewy it doesn't look really matte on my skin which I think is really good for a K-beauty look so dewy is better in K-beauty makeup so this is pretty nice it's going very very good it doesn't feel tacky it feels lightweight on my skin it's just that if you have like heavy imperfections I think you would need concealer now I'm gonna do my eyebrow using this brow down to me precision brow pencil I think the brand is really cute. I like their packaging. It's very, very feminine. It's very sassy, which is really, really cute for me. And I got this. Um, the color is brunette. It comes with this brush right here, and it comes with this really, really micro pencil. See, let's see how far this pencil would go. It's pretty good, decent amount. If you are a sucker for a really good eyebrow pencil, I think this would last you for. If you use eyebrow pencil a lot, this would last you a month or two months. I like that the pencil is really really tiny like I could shape my eyebrow easily on this it's pretty it's looking pretty good the color is really nice on my skin tone the brunette color really matches my hair my dark hair so that's a good job the be my everything highlighter palette so this if this shade is in medium so it comes with three different colors we have the pearl we have the sunbeam and we have the champagne so the color is quite nice for a medium skin tone so they actually sent me their ultimate brush crush right here. This is a fan brush, but you could use it as to apply blush, highlighter, or bronzer. This so this would be perfect. Apply the sunbeam as my highlighter. It look, literally look really really nice. It's like this golden light. adds a bit of a glow. Look at that. I'm gonna flip the brush and add the champagne the bronzer right here. The bronzer, you could you could really see the bronzer. I feel like it's not there, but Yeah, I can't really see the bronzer. I like my bronzer strong because I'm really tan. I don't see it. Oh. Well, let's move on. So, I like the highlighter, the sunbeam highlighter, but I'm not sure about the bronzer. I think the bronzer needs to be more, a little bit stronger for medium shade at it's K Beauty so let's see how it goes. This birthday suit eyeshadow palette it has six different nude tones which is 
good for a bronzy look or for a day to It's really going on. Okay, beauty eyeshadow, the way they apply. Koreans apply their eyeshadow pretty. Korean apply their eyeshadow pretty neatly and very very simple so I don't really see a lot of cut crease and it just just try they're just trying to make their eyes really look big so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm applying this really brown color blending it toward my crease to really open up my eyes using the Sigma brush E55 Okay. And I'm going to use my Sigma E40 brush and just blend it. I want this look to be really daytime look so I don't want any harsh edges. I want it to look and just apply it. Onto my lid. Love it. So I'm gonna take this um my E40 brush again and just wanna give a little bit of sh contour on down on my lid right here. Applying this dark shade. I'm applying the cappuccino shade under my lid, lower lid, just to my inner corner. I want to highlight my brow bone too, so I'm just going to put some. I think I need more cappuccino. Very nice. I think it's really cute. The colors, I absolutely adore each color range on this palette. It doesn't have any fallout. It goes on very smoothly. It glides smoothly. It's pigmented. I don't have any complaints. It's pretty good. This um, felt tip liquid eyeliner. I'm so fly eyeliner. So I love felt tip eyeliner. I think it's easy to it's so easy to use if it's like felt tip compared to other type of eyeliner. So let's try and see if this would work nicely. And when I apply it, I like to apply my liner. I start, I usually start with the wing first. So I place my liner like this, open up my eyes and then close it. Stamp it like that and move towards inside of my eye. I love this liner. It's actually so easy to use and it just right away it just 
the tip is so easy to use it glides perfectly the color is so pigmented as well and very very nice I'm gonna go ahead and try their ice cream volume and length mascara The mascara is not really You know my problem a lot with my usual problem with mascara is that it makes my lashes really clumpy and it looks like I'm wearing a mascara and I didn't know how to blend it on my lashes and this one is really not clumpy at all that it makes my lashes really long for some reason. Really long, but not thick. It really works if you have really long, nice lashes, but for me, this isn't working. But does my lashes absolutely fast is what surprised me. It's pretty good. It lengthens my lashes, but it doesn't give me this volumized look. So I'm quite 50-50 on this, but still, it's pretty good. Different um, lipstick uh, with this shade of Babe. It's quite like rosy look, rosy color. Next, they sent me this um, Boothang. It's quite maroon. It's a maroon shade. And next, they sent me a Bell. This is a red, deep red color. So, for a daytime look, of course, I'm going to go with a more pinky tone. So, I'm going to use this Babe right here. I think the color is really nice. It suits different skin tones with this babe color and with one swipe it is already very pigmented and it's not tacky. It's quite hydrating on my lips. I just like the smell is quite too strong for me in my liking but I think this is a pretty nice lipstick. Now I'm going to set my makeup with this Selfie Ready Setting Powder. Set it. Oh my gosh. This absolutely whitens my complexion. Okay, so I just set everything up. Now I'm gonna put some lashes and let's see what the lip gloss looks like. So it's a clear lip gloss. It's called Mirror Mirror Lip Gloss. Smells very fruity as well. And just. I honestly love the eyeshadow, the lipstick color, the eyeshadow, the foundation. I'm not feeling it. I feel like it didn't cover my, my hyperpigmentation, didn't cover well my spots. And um, you could still see my pores. So the primer really didn't 
help in covering my pores. Probably when I use their other primer, poreless primer, probably it would help. But with the Radiance primer, I think my face is really glowing, giving me more radiance. But it doesn't help in smoothening my lines. I, my it doesn't help smoothing my pores, and you could still see my um, acne marks, which is pretty hassle for me. But overall, I love their products. I think it really suits the K Beauty style of makeup, but more of the shades of foundation. I think they need to go more wide range means they should more have different variety of colors from different skin tones and not only stick with very pale and fair skinned people because of course here in the United States there are like different types of ethnicities and getting a foundation that really suits your skin tone is really a thing here now so I think they should follow that as well and get more ranges of foundation for different skin tones so um, I hope you guys enjoy my first impression and makeup tutorial of Joa Beauty so yeah